Major airlines are considering a temporary shutdown on domestic flights. KCTV 5 Savannah Rudisell is live this morning at an unusually empty KCI. And Savannah, how much is travel actually down because of this virus? Gina, the TSA reported that travel was down 80% from this past Sunday to about this time last year. And take a look at KCI here. That pretty much tracks. Right now, we have one passenger here in the southwest check-ins area. We're normally used to seeing a pretty steady stream of people. Not the case this morning. These airlines are struggling to keep up with only having a few passengers per each flight. Some airlines have already canceled up to 40% of travel plans. Now with all these extra planes on the ground, a couple of them are having a hard time trying to find a place to park all of them. You're looking at video right now of Tulsa where uh, planes are being parked right there on taxiways. They're using emergency repair hangers and even some runways to park these planes. Now, if they make this decision to cancel more flights, it would mostly be a financial decision, not so much a safety decision for fear of spreading the coronavirus. Now, the Wall Street Journal also reports that if it is not a voluntary shutdown from major airline industries, then the, uh, the White House actually might shut it down on purpose. They might uh, kind of mandate a sort of virtual shutdown. Now, coming up at six, we're going to talk a little bit more about what that means and what that would mean for the future of the travel industry. Reporting live at KCI, Savannah Rudisell, KCTV5 News. Wow, just another major impact of this. Thank you, Savannah. Mm -hmm.